Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Boktai 2. Today, we'll take our first steps into 6th Avenue and see just what San Miguel looks like. So you ventured outside. Let me explain, Django. You'll need sunlight to restore your energy, but if you're exposed to very strong sunlight or are outside for too long, you'll run the risk of overheating both the Sol device and yourself. If this happens, obviously you won't be able to carry on with your adventure. So if you see the overheat alert appear over the solar gauge, make sure you get into the shade and rest for a while. Got it? Yeah, I got it. But just take a look around. This is the fabled city of the sun. Reduced to not much more than ruin. And there's a bee here, and I hate it. Die, bee. Now, we could go straight to the mall, Sun Avenue. But... Instead, we're going to go and do the first side dungeon, because, believe it or not, it is open to us. And I'm going to do this not only to get us all familiar with the game, but to talk about some of the constraints of this Let's Play. But for now, let's head inside. It's here. Can you feel it? The presence of the undead. We're not in the city anymore. This is an undead dungeon. Every time you enter an undead dungeon, all traps and enemy monsters return to their original state. It's all part of the doomsday phenomenon. Be sure to stay alert, Django. In other words, it's a video game. Now, unlike Boktai 1, there's not a lot of side dungeons in this game. They've actually reduced the amount of side dungeons, made them slightly bigger. Although not always. I hate birds! The flying enemies in this game are terrible! But you know, they're not always bigger than the ones in Bakhtai 1. But there are, I think, mm, five-ish, I think? So not as many. They're pretty good, though. I like them. They're challenging. We got some more chlorophyllin from Boktai 1. Get off, mate! You can destroy them pretty easily with the power of the sun, just like when you had the Gundel Saw. Whoa. Now, there is... Whoa, why weren't you stunned? Skill up! Let's go over that real quick. You notice that last time when I talked about the skill levels, I, they affected how much damage we were doing. When you get a certain amount of kills, I believe it's one kill counts for one XP, you level up your skill up a skill level with that weapon. And more chlorophyllin. There's actually a room in this dungeon that's really good for grinding skill level, but I like to do it in a different place. Oh no, he's gonna see me. He saw me. That'll be a problem. Now. As you may have noticed, I'm not going for perfect stealth. I leveled up. But believe it or not, even though I decided to come here before doing the main story, we can't actually 100% complete this dungeon. There is one thing, specifically one thing, that we can't do yet. And I'm going to be making a note of it, because I'll tell you straight up, I don't know if this is going to be a 100% playthrough. Actually, I think there might be something over here. And that's because this game has a lot of side quests called... Yeah, no, I can't do anything yet. Called Request Sheets. And the Request Sheets have you running dungeons over... Like, it's the same content, but they have you running it under different constraints, like time limits, you can only use certain weapons, that sort of thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do those. And by be able to, I mean I don't know if I'll choose to. So, well, we'll see. But I will be getting, or I will be going through all the dungeons, and I will be collecting everything I can. If I can't collect it, or I forgot to, I'll try and make a note of it. Whoa! And the first example, that will be right here. Because, if you remember in Boktai 1, these blocks could only be destroyed in a certain way. And that way is true here in Boktai 2 as well. And we can't destroy them yet. And we obviously can't push them out of the way, because there's two of them. So, right now you should be seeing on screen what you need to break these blocks and what the reward is behind this thing. For now, whoa! For now, I'm going to ignore it. I'll come back later. 
If you really want me to go on screen and do this stuff, I can. But otherwise, I'll just either grab it off screen or not grab it at all. What's this? Left, proceed, right, go back. Well, right has a treasure chest, so screw you! Now, that's, I think, everything I have to say regarding the LP, as far as gameplay goes. One other thing I wanted to get out of the way, before it comes across, or becomes apparent, is that... Where am I going? Down here. Not every conversation in this game is going to be voiced, probably. Here's a solar machine. It works just like Boktai 1. It passively banks energy from the solar sensor, and you can use it when you don't have sun. And one more thing. Activate switches 5, 7, and 3 in order. That's our puzzle right now. I'm not sure if we're going to be dubbing every conversation. There's a lot of side conversations with a lot of random NPCs. So I'll be at least, you know, voicing it in the commentary, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing editing on it like I have been for all the main story cutscenes. But of course, all the main story cutscenes I will be dubbing. Now, the puzzle right now is we have to complete the rooms 5, 7, 3 in order. I got another level up. This is the 5 room. You can tell by the number of bats. So we hit the switch. And down here is the 7 room with 7 bats, because bats are the best enemy in Boktai. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Flying enemies are the worst. They have the weirdest hitbox, and they can go in all sorts of crazy directions. Yeah. At least in Boktai 1, you had the spread to take care of them. And puzzle solved. Now let's level up real quick. Two in agility, one in vitality. You always gotta have that agility. Beating the game without a lot of agility is pretty hard. And I'm taking precautions, considering I'm talking while doing this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. You did. But I don't think there's anything else in particular I need to get out of the way. We talked about percent completion. We talked about voice acting. We talked about the side quests. Whoa! But otherwise, I just kind of want to do this. Oh, get off me! I just want to do this dungeon to get us all familiar with the game, because it does play a little bit different than Boktai One. Boktai One was a stealth action game. This is very much an action RPG. Message left behind. Why are they going round and round like that? They're so engrossed. They can't seem to see anything. What are they up to? Round and round and round. Huh? S surely not. So, there's these three ghouls box going round and round in a circle, and there's a little space for you to go around. If they see you, if you kill one, these doors close. So don't do either. And we'll just sneak by him again. I'm gonna go down here. Over there, that door is for if you're completing a request sheet. So, nothing we can do right now. Die! There's another one of you. There is one thing I don't like about this version of the patch I'm playing on Boktai for the emulator. Oh, we'll eat one of our things just because there's one lying on the ground. And it's that... It's the same as Boktai 1. The sun is controlled by holding down the L button and moving the D-pad. The problem is if I'm moving and I enchant sort of like this, I reduce my sun. Or I increase my sun. Which gets really annoying. I believe there's a patch to fix it or to change it to the R button or the select button, but I don't, I'm not running that and it's really annoying. So be forewarned. Oh, a little bit of a frame rate drop. Not sure if that's the emulator or the game. The game is not perfect with its frame rate. Ow. One thing I did want to say, though. I didn't say it last time, but I love the music in this game. There are a lot of changes between Boktai 1 and Boktai 2. Not all of them I especially enjoy, but the music is definitely one of them. This song is just so good. And now it's over, sadly. And I cut the fanfare off, because I'm a jerk. But we leveled up. Ah, I still got the end of it. 
You're... Django, aren't you? I'm Marcello. On the day the city was attacked by the undead, I got left behind when everyone ran away. I see. Then maybe I'll head for Sun Avenue, too. This new warp magic square will probably take you to the dungeon entrance. See you then. You take care, too, okay? Marcelo's kind of a wimp. He doesn't really do anything. What we came here for is that key. But if we never saved Marcelo, he would never show up in town. Which, obviously, I want him to show up in town. Let's quickly just... Solar Charge. And now, with the dungeon mostly complete, we can head for Sun Avenue in the heart of the city. Get out of the way, B. Oh, we can kill in one hit now. RPG mechanics! Here we are! Huh. Made it, did you, Squirt? I suppose you are Solar Boy. Hey, take care of the rental fee for the solar device in the solar bank, okay? Yeah, about a million should do it. You what? Got no cash? Well, that's just typical now, ain't it? Anyway, I reckon this'll help you out. You can borrow energy whenever you want. But watch out, because you'll have to pay it back, okay? Better use it carefully. Go ask over at Dark Loans if you want to know more, alright? You got the dark card. Ah, the way you speak. It's so familiar. If I'm not mistaken, Sunflower Girl, isn't it? And you're Master Otenko, Messenger of the Sun. It's an honor to meet you. I am the Star Reader, Zazi. Sunflower Girl is named the old, uh, I mean, the mistress used in her youth. Not that I can begin to imagine the old, uh, the mistress at my age. She saved the world with Red Ringo, the strongest vampire hunter. I came here because of her star reading, to see the end of the world for myself. The end of the world. Is that what she predicted? That's right. When sun and moon retreat into darkness, Grand twilight descends on the wedge-binding city of the sun. A deep shadow is then born in its wake. The beginning of the end. Hmm. That vampire. What on earth is going on in this place? And what could that deep shadow be? Oh yeah, you're solo boy, so you should be able to help me out. Violet's Gramps went off looking for something, but he ain't come back, see? Now we can't be letting a little kid like this be all upset, right? So how's about you go off and bring the old man back, hey? And who's this little girl? Amazing that she survived through all the undeadening in this place. Probably thanks to the City of Sun's Barrier. I don't know, though. Violet Scramps is the one to ask about all that. That old man happens to be Steel Smith, you know? Smith? He's still alive! Oh, yeah. That's why you've got to go and save him, alright? Steel Smith. He used to be an excellent gunsmith. People called him the Gunmaster. He's the man that taught your father Ringo, the great vampire hunter, about guns. Be sure to have some idea about what's causing all these strange things here. Going by my star reading, he headed to the cathedral, just northwest of here. Of course, I'd go there myself, but I'm supposed to be watching the barrier, see? Barrier that protects this here city if sun's getting weaker, I tell ya. I don't know how much I can do to help, but I'll be trying my best at any rate. Look! That's... Solar Gun Lens Flame! We found it a while ago. Hey, Django, was it? 
Go on and take it as payment for saving her gramps. With that, you'll be able to use Enchantment Flame. Got it? You retrieve the Solar Gun Lens Flame. You learn the Moonlight Magic Enchantment Flame. If that lens was just lying around, does that mean he's close? But, first things first, we'd better find Smith. Come on, Django. Let's head for the cathedral. And with that major cutscene out of the way, let's explore the Sun Avenue, shall we? We got Marcelo over here. Django! Thanks to you, I managed to get out of the dungeon okay. I heard that you're fighting to save this town, right? That's just amazing! There's no way I could do it. Don't you ever feel scared? Real men feel fear and kick fear to the curb. Kick logic and reason out. Do the impossible. Yeah, solar bank. And there's... Ugh, dark loans. Ugh. 600% interest rate. Good lord. What else we got here? Much of San Miguel, or Sun Avenue rather, is empty right now. We'll find more people to occupy the houses and various functions of the town later. We still got this guy though. Hey, Yogan! What's a prat like you doing here? This is the city of death! No scram if you know what's good for you. Hmm, me? I'll be fine. I'm too old to be moving now. Anyway, I've got work to do. I'm Enyo. It's my job to keep watch on the clock and make sure time's a ticking. Yeah, if you need to change the game's clock for whatever reason, he's your dude. What do we got down here? Hello? Oh god, this guy's creepy too. Wanna buy a coffin? Trading your old one first, though. Uh, sure, why, why not? Huh? I've never seen a kid more suited for a coffin. <laughs> if it's coffins you're after, I've got plenty. Come any time. That bronze coffin really doesn't help us that much, but I like hearing that dialogue. It's creepy. Nothing here either. What do we got here? Looks like it's closed. Looks like it's closed too. Hmm. Now, what that key is for is actually Violet is looking for the key to this warehouse. Oh! Ah, the key! That'll open the door to the warehouse! You handed over the warehouse key. The door to the warehouse opens. And in she goes. Let's follow. Here it is. You can have some too. Here you go. Aw, oh, sick chocolate. And my inventory is full. Let's just eat another one. Huzzah! Chocolate's really yummy. I'm gonna give some to Zazie, too! She actually runs the warehouse. Ironically enough, to run out of space inside the warehouse where you can store your items. And one more building to take a look at. This is, uh, it's an inn and a bar. Well, tavern, I guess. There's some rooms back here. And there's another one down here. These are all empty, though. They won't be for long, but they are for now. So that's all of Sun Avenue, really. It's not the biggest place in the world, but it's home for now. It'll be our base of operations. Let's go talk to Zazie one more time. I forgot to tell you. I left some solar bamboo on the first floor of that inn. If you want to recover some life, you're welcome to use it. You'll use it by... Oh, just give it a beat. Star reading. It's looking at how the stars move to see the past, the present, and future, see? I suppose you think it's all a sham, don't you? Bet there's plenty I can tell you about yourself, though. Ready? You were born in Vancouver. 
Your rank in the Istrican adventure is? A. Bullseye, right? I tell you, my talent scares me sometimes, you know? It's amazing. Really? You've made me go all red saying that. Devilish charm, see? I'm a wicked girl, I am. You're something, alright. Got plenty of life in you, right? No? Such a weakling. Just take this, alright? Ah, some medicine, thanks. With me standing guard at the barrier, not even a single spider will crawl into the city of sun. I can't help you directly with your battles and nothing. But I'll be watching you. And that's all of Zazie's dialogue, so let's move on. What's over here? Uh oh. This is where the solar tree used to stand. What a terrible scar we're left with. The solar tree was a shrine to all life in the world, and it contained the power to use the sun's energy and purify the land. The solar tree was taken away by the city of death, Astraka. The earthly maiden Leda brought it back to life, and the land there was purified. But here in San Miguel, there's something preventing that from happening. If we don't find out what that is, there is no hope for the city of the sun. Hmm. That's a problem. Hopefully we can get that sorted out. This is a big open area and weird tentacle things. Oh. Wow! Now that's some serious self-regeneration. A plant like this can't be natural. Must be another effect of the undeadening. Either way, there's no way we can defeat this plant, this root of darkness. And they grab you and hurt your face. So, down here is also blocked by roots of darkness. And just look at the way they animate. God, it's creepy. Here is 10th Avenue. This will be our path to the cathedral. So, next time on Let's Play Boktai 2, we head out and save Steel Smith. I hate you. You're ruining my outro. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Praise the sun. Praise the sun.